Stan Jubilisco here, <clears throat> proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Golf Victor, with a little supplement to the video that I made a couple of days ago, yesterday I think, maybe it was only yesterday, about the update, the Vibroplex paddle, and I talked about high speed CW that I was into back in the early 1970s in my college days when my call sign was WA0OKV Ocean Kilo Victor or Oscar King Victor as the phonetics seemed to be back then. What you're looking at now though is the type of device that most high-speed CW operators used and continue to use for speeds particularly in excess of 45 or 50 words a minute. On that Vibroplex key, uh, key paddle, I was able to get up to about 50 words a minute on that. Then I switched to a dual lever, lever paddle, an iambic keyer, and was able to get close to 60 words a minute transmitting on that, and that was about the limit of what I could copy in my head anyway was about 60 words a minute but I wanted to go faster I worked at it but I really couldn't get any faster than about 60 words a minute back then <clears throat> now it's more like 20 or 25 but uh, you know I'm an old guy now I'm not in a hurry anyway it was fun and uh, I got this uh, keyboard it was called a HAL DKB 2010 HAL uh, back then, I believe they were called HAL Communications, and just before then, they were called HAL Devices. <clears throat> uh, I actually worked right next to a guy uh, when I was at ARRL headquarters in the technical department who well, used to be part of that corporation, HAL uh, Communications. Uh, I haven't checked to see what their status is now, but I think they were the same HAL that had to do with uh, the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey and the book. I think that's where Arthur C. Clarke was the author of that, wasn't he? I think that he got his idea from HAL Communications or HAL Devices, or maybe it was vice versa. Maybe it was um, HAL, well, I don't know whether HAL Devices got it from the movie or whether the movie got it from HAL Devices. Anyway, this is their DKB 2010 Morse keyboard and it would also send radio teletype and let me move over here and sit down at it and Hopefully I won't trip over it or the cord or something and knock it down or fall down in front of you here I'm a clumsy old coot now But here is the deal It went all the way from 15, I had mine set so it would go all the way from 15, 20, 30, 40, 3 character buffer, 50 words a minute, 60, and I was able to get up to about 70 on this keyboard, so that was the top speed that I set this for. I don't know about what I can do. Well, I mean, that, that's so fast, it's just a blur. It's actually faster than the slowest speed of radio teletype. This radio teletype, it would go 60, 66, 75, and 100 words a minute, or measured in baud, 45, 50, 57, and 74. This is an old, an old deal here. This is an early 1970s vintage. Uh, thing. The Morse, you could adjust the weight from heavy to normal to light. And at higher speeds, 40 and above, light uh, seemed to be easier to copy. And very light, never used that. <clears throat> uh, that was just too extreme. Three character buffer, and uh, there, you could therefore type a little bit ahead of yourself, and it wouldn't. Uh, and it wouldn't lose characters. Uh, three character buffer, that was pretty sophisticated back then. The earlier keyboard that I had didn't have any buffer, so you'd miss characters if you got ahead of it, but then if you held the key down on the older one, it would just repeat. This one, uh, that's very light, that sounds kind of goofy. 
You hold it down and it does not repeat. This thing still works, I believe. As, you know, as far as I know, I could hook it up to my radio, but I prefer that old Vibroplex paddle because I do so much writing and so much keyboarding. I get keyboarded out, you know, and I just want to do the old Morse code paddle thing. And uh, that's the fun uh, ham radio for me. But the guys that I mentioned who got up to 80 and even 100 words a minute, Gene W2KFA, Ray W2YS, uh, I don't know about George down in New Zealand, but most of those operators, if they got over 45 or 50 words a minute, they would use these keyboards rather than key or paddles. Because, it, you know, there's a rare person indeed who could send 60 and 70 on one of those paddles. Although they did exist, they did exist. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, signing off for now. Salon. So